Hello guys, so you might have seen my previous imposter demonstration. Well, this is a continuation of that. Today we're going to demonstrate some other stuff that you can do with the panel. And we're going to demonstrate how to program the panel. So, before we get into programming, I'm going to show you guys some other things you can do with the system while it is armed. So let's just arm the system and stay. And we're gonna, or we could just do it now. So you click star. You could either do interior arming, which I don't really know what it does. You could see the system troubles. You can activate the door chime one from here, which is a good feature. You can do output control, which I also don't know what that is. You can do no entry arming, so if you don't want the entry delay, you can get rid of that. Or you can press pound to exit, so we're going to try no entry arming, so we're going to click star. So it says arm with no entry delay. So now we're going to wait for it to arm. I actually think the inter the interior arming is just if you program your your motion detectors to be on in night mode. I think that's kind of like night mode on the system. If you program your motion detectors to be on in night mode, you can activate that. So, I'm going to wait for the system to arm so we can demonstrate the no entry delay feature. Okay, it is armed and stay, so now let's open the door, and you'll see it has no entry delay. So it says system is an alarm, and it says front door, so I'm going to clear that. And this is a good time to demonstrate how to clear an alarm memory, so how you do that is you basically... Disarm your, disarm your system after an alarm occurs, then you arm it again, then you disarm it. So that should clear the system of the alarm memory. Okay, now let's demonstrate some programming on the system. So, how you so for there's two layers of programming on the DSC. There's user programming, and then there's installer programming. So, we're, for now we're going to demonstrate user programming. So, how you get into that is you click star, or star sits, and then type in your code. And then you can view an event log, which is just a basic, basic, record of events on the system, so you can basically nothing to that. You can do a system test, which I'm going to demonstrate real quick. If I have my siren enabled, the siren will be sounding, but there was just a beep. So you can adjust your time and date. I'm gonna back out of that since my time and date is good, so you can do this. I don't know. I don't know what any of this stuff is. You can do. You can do a walk test. So I'm going to demonstrate that. So the lights will be flashing, and you can open your zones to make sure they are working. And it'll say system is an alarm. And then do this zone. 
and then do this. Okay, so now let's get out of the You can get out of the wall just like that, and then go back in. And then you can control the brightness of the screen, so you can do brightness level 3, brightness level 2, brightness level 1, or you can have no backlight, which I don't recommend doing because if you want to control the system at night, you won't be able to. And that that actually controls the keys, too, since the keys have lights on them. Now, let's set it back to what I had it. Three, which is the mats, and we can also do contrast control, which basically controls the contrast, like that. Set it back to what I had it, and we can do the buzzer control, which makes the buzzer louder or quieter. See, it's getting louder. It goes up to about 20, I think. You can tell it's getting louder. Or you can just disable the buzzer so you won't hear any of the beeps. And if you have your siren disabled like I do, that would be a completely silent system. So I'm going to set it back to 1, which is what I had it. Since if I have it set to anything above that, the buzzer is actually very loud. So, oh, well, it's not really loud, it's just kind of loud. So, that's pretty much it for user programming. Now we're going to demonstrate installer programming. So to get into installer programming, you... Hit star 8 and enter your default installer's code, which is 5555. And then you can enter the section you want. So, I don't have time to demonstrate all the sections because we'd be here all day, but I'm going to demonstrate one of them. It's section 5. You can and then go to section 1, that changes your entry delay, and entry delay and exit delay. So you can go change the delay. And then you can, that's pretty much all I can do for right now since I don't have all the sections memorized. So, what else should I do? Hmm. Oh, I'm going to demonstrate the system trouble, so... I'm going to take this thing off of my motion, and the you'll notice there's an orange, orange light on the system, and the system is now beeping, which means there is a system trouble. So, to silence the beeping, you can just click any button on the keypad, or the system. So, to view the trouble, you click star. Two, you can view that there's system tamper. Possible system troubles are low battery, AC loss, uh, co communication failure, and tamper. That's pretty much all I. I think that's pretty much all I've gotten on the system. Is tamper. AC loss, low battery, and tamper. Alright, so let's 
put back, put the cover back on this motion detector, and it should, system should reset. If it doesn't, I think you can just arm and disarm it again. And as you can see, my system has reset. So yeah, that's pretty much it for programming and other other stuff on the system. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, I'm really sorry I haven't been posting in a while. I just got super busy, got super busy, and I haven't had time to record a video until now. So I'm sorry about that. And I also in case you didn't know, I took down the DSC because eventually I am going to put the Impasa up, so it's going to be my next room system. So, I bet you're wondering what that big case is for. Well, that's how I carry my Impasa. That's how I carry it around, so until it's on the wall, that's going to be how I'm carrying it around. So, hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe, like, and peace.